Welcome back to my channel guys, this is Benito and this is my sixth tutorial on MATLAB. In this tutorial I'll be teaching you all about vectors. So before we actually head over to MATLAB, I want to clarify something about vectors. So we learn about vectors in physics and it's quite different in computer science. So vectors in physics is defined as something with a magnitude magnitude and direction. So one example of a vector is velocity. So velocity has magnitude and direction. So this in mathematics or physics is shown simply with an arrow pointing in a particular direction and it can be denoted as a letter with an arrow on top and it can be 3i plus 2j for example and the i and the j are unit vectors so this is i and this is j going up so this 3i plus 2j means you're you're going across by 3 and going up by 2 and sometimes it's shown as so the vector A is shown like this too. Now this is a vector with magnitude and direction and it's used in physics and mathematics. Now in programming or computer science, a vector could is essentially, uh, it could be a row of numbers. So it can be one, two, three, and then all the way up to n. Or it could be a column of numbers uh, 1 2 3 and it can go up to n okay so at the end of the day uh, a vector in this particular example this is known as a row vector because it's a row of numbers but at the end of the day um, this is one row and n columns. So it's one row, one into n, and is a one into n matrix. Similarly, this is a column vector, and it's n rows into one column, and it's a n into one matrix. Now, because it's just a single line of numbers, we call it a row vector or a column vector. So, a vector in computer science or programming doesn't necessarily mean that it's something with magnitude and direction. But do bear in mind, if you're, if you're coding something, let's say scientific, and you have velocity in it, you can define velocity as a row vector or a column vector uh, in a similar fashion. So, it can be defined like this, or it can be defined like this, okay? But generally speaking, a vector is just a row of numbers or a column of numbers, and it's always a single file, okay? So now that we have cleared that, let's move over to MATLAB. So let's start by defining a column vector. So we'll just say one, uh, semicolon 2, semicolon 3. So this should create a column vector. So you can see it's one column and three rows. So it's a column vector and it's a single file. Okay, so we want to double check what we've, what I've just explained is correct. So the, there is a function in MATLAB which allows you to input a variable and it spits out if it's a uh, vector. So it's called isVector. So if you type in isVector and then pass in the variable which is v, and press return, it returns a logical answer of one, which means it's true. So uh, one indicates that it's true and that it's a vector. Okay, so now let's try a row vector. So R, and we'll say one, two, three. So this creates a row vector. So it's one row and three columns. Okay, so let's just confirm again with is vector. Is this a vector? So we'll ask MATLAB, is R a vector? And MATLAB is saying yes it is a vector by returning 1 which means it's true. Now just to prove to you that 
um, this is correct, we'll try asking MATLAB, we'll uh, create a matrix, a 2x2 two two matrix, so we'll say 1, 2, semicolon to start a new row, 3, 4, and you can see this is a 2x2 two two matrix, and we'll ask MATLAB, is this a vector, by using is vector, and it's returning 0, which means it's false, and that is not a vector. Now we can check is this a matrix by simply typing in is matrix and passing in M. And you can see MATLAB is saying yes, this is a matrix. Now let's say you want to create a row vector starting from 0 all the way up to 100. So we can simply type in VR equals 0 colon in steps of 1 all the way up to 100. And this creates a row vector. Okay. And let's say now I want to transpose this or turn this column vector, uh, row vector into a column vector. So we can simply do the transpose of this VR. So we'll say VT equals VR transpose and transpose is done using this single quotation marks. So this will transpose the row vector into a column vector. Now let's just check is this actually, is this actually a vector? So we call it VT and you can check and it says yes it is a vector by returning one. So this is how you um, create vectors in MATLAB and I hope the initial introduction uh, was helpful for you to understand the difference between vectors so that you don't get mixed up in the future. So in the next tutorial I'll be teaching you more about vectors and I'll introduce you to matrices, which is very important in engineering and uh, computational mathematics. So I'll see you in the next one, guys.